Riley, it has been a difficult emotional day. President Biden joining thousands at memorials in New York, Pennsylvania, and the Pentagon. Millions across the rest of the country pausing, not to mourn, but to make sure the world never forgets those lost in the terror attacks two decades earlier. Jay Gray has the details from Ground Zero. Bagpipes echo across lower Manhattan. The call to honor a promise made two decades earlier. Marie Rose Abad. Bell. And trumpets sound. Soft, subtle tones marking the exact time. The deafening, deadly attacks took place. Jason Matthew Coffey. Maria A. Bear. President Biden joining dignitaries and thousands pulled to ground zero, Pennsylvania, and the Pentagon to honor the nearly 3,000 heroes lost in the attacks. While we grieve for our fallen, we celebrate the life they led. But this day isn't about leaders or politicians. Abdu Ali Malahi. It's about Kieran Joseph Gorman. Those now gone. Joe, we love and miss you more than you could ever imagine. Continue to watch over us and your family. While the pain, the emotions still linger 20 years later, many are also quick to remember now the way the country came together in the face of such overwhelming loss. If we do the hard work of working together as Americans, if we remain united in purpose, we will be prepared for whatever comes next. There is a strength that comes with being together, a strength. You will live on in our hearts forever. So many still need 20 years later. Jay Gray, NBC News.